Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Welcome to my first astrology ASMR video. I'm very excited to be doing this first ASMR video featuring many different array of little show and tell moments down here such as my obsidian stone that I just bought it's really good for spiritual healing psychic protection things like that my cat eye stone which I love and I wanted to talk about this little postcard that I got from my friend who's currently traveling the world well he's actually traveling <laughs> Um, Australia is currently in Sydney and he sent me a postcard he sent it on May 23rd and today is Jan June 9th and I just received it today so I thought that was cool I didn't expect it he never told me he sent it so I hope you like my little set here I added the robe for effect all right I know ASMRs are like supposed to be comfortable and stuff like that so I thought I would shuffle some cards and pull an angel card for us. In this astrology ASMR video, I will be talking about the 12 zodiac signs and what I like about each of them, all right? <clears throat> and maybe what I don't like about each of them as well. We'll see how that goes. But I want to see what message the angels have for us tonight because it is nighttime even though the set is light as heck right now all right what message do the angels have for my watchers and followers please subscribe to my youtube channel all right comment like share i appreciate you though i appreciate those who watch my videos and go to sleep listening to my voice i appreciate that may this am ASMR touch your soul. Alright. Ooh, we got a card, y'all. Let's see what it says. It's the Six of Thought card. And it says, Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed, and now you can see that your destination is within sight. I so needed to hear this. Ooh, it's a little bit cold in here, y'all, even though it's summer. I'm just trying to add effect, all right? It is still visual at the same time. All right, the stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. So some of you could be traveling at this time some of you could just be coming into a more peaceful time in your life. Maybe you've been going through a lot of chaos. Maybe there's been a lot of destruction and change being uprooted in your life. So expect better times ahead. I also have some fortune cookies because I got some Chinese food earlier and I never ate the fortune cookies. So I might get into these a little bit later. But let's get into the zodiac signs and why I like them so much. Wait, what just happened? Because I had the order of them. Okay, there we go. Let's start with Aries. The reason why I like Aries is because one, they're ruled by the planet Mars. And the planet Mars rules aggression. It rules our self-assertiveness. It rules our will to get things done. And because of this, Aries people are super duper courageous and brave. And I admire that as a Libra moon, because sometimes as a Libra moon, the moon rules our inner self in astrology. So as a Libra moon, sometimes I tend to second guess myself and I tend to worry about what other people will think of me or what other people will think if I fail. All right. Or if, you know, the worst happens. But Aries don't think of things like this. Aries kind of just goes with the flow of life. And as a Capricorn sun, I really appreciate that about them. And I admire that about them. 
The one thing I do wish uh, Aries were or did differently, um, and I know it's just kind of who they are, is I wish that they were more open to the opinions, more not the opinions, I guess, but more open to feedback from other people, I guess, you know, feedback from other people, being more open to interacting with people, uh, you know, allowing people in their life who maybe don't fit their mold of who they feel that person should be or who, you know, Aries feels they should be surrounding themselves with, you know, because Aries rules the first house, which rules self-image, so... The first house is also a rising sign in astrology. And this is nothing against Aries. This is just something I notice about Aries. Okay. Let's move on to Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. And Taurus is an earth sign. Aries is a fire sign. And Aries, or Taurus, is ruled by Venus. I am so hungry, you guys. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Let's read what the fortune cookie says real quick, actually. It says, answer just what your heart prompts you to. It should say do, but it just says to. It says, can you read it? Answer just what your heart prompts you to. Right now, my heart is prompting me to eat this fortune cookie. see that this water is crystal infused with lemons as well it's delicious so Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus rules passion romance friendship harmony beauty <clears throat> It also rules how we approach romance and romantic relationships. It rules money and how we like to spend our money. And this is one thing I appreciate about Taurus is that they're all about their money. And as the Capricorn Sun, Libra Moon, Libra is ruled by Venus as well. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Or wait, yeah, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. And my rising sign is Virgo. I should have mentioned that first, but... As a Mars and Mercury and Sagittarius, sometimes my brain thinks faster than my mouth. Sometimes my mouth moves faster than my brain, okay? Now, Taurus, I appreciate about them is that they're very sociable and they're easy to connect with and interact with. Now, because they're an earth sign, they utilize and express Venus energy in a very practical way because earth signs are super duper practical. And I appreciate about them because I have a lot of earth in my chart. The one thing that Tauruses are, you know, also known for is their, their stubbornness, which can um, cause issues in relationships with Taurus, all right? Sometimes they can be too stubborn to see their the role that they played in certain things. So I think it's really important for a Taurus to accept their part in things, okay? And to understand that not everything is beautiful we all make mistakes okay you know and taurus hates making mistakes especially in relationships because venus rules relationships let's move to gemini which is ruled by mercury mercury rules communication intellect and the mind okay and because of this gemini's are super duper intellectual they're fun to talk with there's always something you can talk to a gemini about especially if it's a gemini sun moon or rising okay or mercury for that matter you know, um, or Jupiter, actually, all right? Geminis are just so fun. Not the most easy people to pin down. Like, they can make they can make plans, you know, and then, you know, when the day comes up for the plans, you find out that they've made other plans, 
you know, like Geminis can just be that kind of people. And it's not anything I put against them or that you should put against them. It's just who they are, you know. Moving on, Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon, and the moon rules our emotional self, our emotional security, our sense of emotional security. It also rules our connection to our family and our home. I don't know about you guys, but I like to lock myself up in my room when I'm home. Now, currently, I live with my family, and I'm hoping to move out into my own place soon. I'm thankful for my YouTube channel, because hopefully this will provide me the opportunity for that. Also, I never feel alone due to my YouTube channel and due to all of you lovely, wonderful people watching my videos, and I appreciate you guys so much. I don't know why I just started talking about that. I guess because it's cancer, and cancers just make you feel some type of way sometimes. Cancers are ruled by the moon, and the moon rules the tides of the ocean. Now, in astrology... The ocean water is synonymous for emotions, okay? <clears throat> also in tarot, all right? And cancers are very emotional people, which as a Capricorn sun, Libra moon, Virgo rising, I don't un sometimes understand, okay? Now, I'm not saying I'm not emotional because my Venus is in Scorpio. So, you know, Scorpios are very emotional, deeply emotional as well. Libras are emotional too, they just don't show it But Yeah, you know, Cancers are Emotional to the point where they can sometimes Lock themselves up, isolate themselves And that's something that Capricorn has in common with them Their polar opposite zodiac sign You know, they can sometimes lock themselves up in their rooms You know And, you know, sometimes they just like being alone but sometimes being alone isn't a healthy thing, especially when you're alone all the time. So this is something that cancers have to be careful of because home is where the heart is. I'm speaking like I'm a cancer. I just know cancer energy really well. Cancers tend to be the people that I end up falling for or they end up falling for me. And I think it's because I'm a Capricorn and cancers are secretly attracted to that kind of silent strength. Because it's something that they wish that they had It's not that they're strong It's not that they're not strong It's just that Some people have a silent strength That Emanates from them without being too emotional If that makes sense One, two. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk with my mouth open. I was taught to never talk with your mouth open when you're eating. Leo. Leo is ruled by the sun. And... The sun rules our self-confidence. It rules our, our vitality for life. It rules our connection to our higher self and our higher purpose. Leo people are super jovial. Leo people are very fun to be around. There's never a dull moment with a Leo person, especially Leo sun, moon, or rising, or Mars. But Leos also have a dark side to them. And that dark side can sometimes rear its ugly head as a Leo sometimes expecting people to drop things at the drop of the dime for them that's something I notice about Leos and it's just who they are you know they are there for so many people in you know their life and Leos are, you know, typically friends with so many people and they're, you know, loyal to so many people. And they're just, you know, people that a lot of people feel that they can depend on. So Leo expects that same kind of loyalty in return, that kind of unconditional loyalty that some people unfortunately just aren't capable of, which is a hard lesson for Leo to learn. All right. 
but Leos are awesome people nonetheless. Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, and Virgo is an Earth sign, so Mercury rules communication, intellect, and the mind. And Virgo, like I said, my Virgo, uh, my rising sign is Virgo. Virgos are very orderly people, very structured people for the most part. They like routine in their life, whether it's around the job, the home. They like everything to be in its place. These are people that like to be clean. You know, they like, you know, their surroundings to be clean. And I appreciate that about them because I'm a Virgo rising and I appreciate good hygiene. All right. And I appreciate cleanliness. All right. Even though if you go back to a lot of my videos, my room wasn't clean. OK, don't hate. All right. Don't judge. That's one thing I appreciate about appreciate about Virgos is that they judge, but they judge silently. So it seems like they're not judging, but they probably really are. But they don't hold it against you, and that's what I love about Virgos. Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus, like I was saying earlier. My moon is in Libra. And Libra is an air sign, very sociable, very charming with their words. They tend to be very attractive, okay? Libra, sun, moon, and rising tend to be very sociable people, people who just attract attractive people to them, but people who also just attract people to them. And this can not be a, a good thing sometimes because Leos can sometimes struggle <coughs> with who they should be loyal to. Because they can be loyal to so many different people. So that's one thing that Libras need to kind of be wary of, is to first be loyal to self. Next, Scorpio. But first, a word from our fortune cookie. It says, you will have a fine capacity for the enjoyment of life. Sorry for my crusty hands. I just got out of the shower, and for some reason, my hands get really dry when I take a shower. So I have to put a ton of lotion on them, and they're still dry. Whatever. Scorpio's next. And Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. Pluto rules the subconscious, the deep, dark truths, what lies hidden below the surface. Mars, like I was saying, rules aggression. It rules self-assertiveness, our will to get things done. Now, like I said, my Venus is in Scorpio, so one thing I appreciate about Scorpios is that they're very deep people, all right? They are very no BS people, okay? They don't take crap from anyone. And as a Capricorn, I appreciate anyone who has that energy. So I appreciate that about Scorpio and Aries, who both have that Mars energy. Scorpios also can be very vengeful, all right? People who have this strong energy and they're, you know, Scorpio is such a strong energy that no matter where it's placed sometimes, it can still rain through, you know, so specifically in the sun, moon, rising, Mars, Mercury, and Venus, all right, I think is most prominent, and Pluto, actually, I'll say, as well, and probably North Node and Lilith as well, <laughs> But yes, Scorpios are very deep people that you don't want to get on their bad side, ever. Next, Sagittarius. I was born in the month of Sagittarius, December 27th to be exact. So I'm a Capricorn Sagittarius cusp. So automatically I appreciate Sagittarius energy. One thing I don't appreciate about Sagittarius energy, I'll just, you know, get right to it off the bat, you know. Is that sometimes Sagittarius... Sagittarius's can be very contradictory, kind of like Gemini, they're polar opposite zodiac sign. But also, Sagittarius's can be hard to pin down, like they're, you know, they can, you know, make plans and then, you know, when the day comes, they make new plans, you know, or you don't hear from them, you know, they're just those kind of people. I have this energy within me too, all right, so I'm not hating. But one thing I love about Sagittarius is, is that they're very optimistic and fun to be around. They typically have great energy when you finally do get to hang out with them. Because they can be very busy too. And I appreciate anyone who has a busy lifestyle. Because I like to have a busy lifestyle. So why would I hate on someone who's busy? 
Speaking of busy, Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn loves to stay busy. Saturn rules karma, debt, weight, illness, the past, work, work ethic, our career, profession, status, and society, our sense of responsibility. It also rules our connection to our father, okay? Saturn is considered the father figure of the zodiac. So one thing I don't appreciate about Capricorns, and I'm saying this about myself because I am a Capricorn, is that they can be very bossy, all right? Yes, we can be very bossy, all right? We can be very my way or the highway, you know? We can be very emotionally unavailable people, you know? But we are also very strong people, very hardworking people, you know, people that other people can depend on, all right? You know, and we are people that... <clears throat> seek stability for ourselves you know we put our careers first you know sometimes we sacrifice ourselves for our careers for the people we love that's a true capricorn all right we're getting down to the wire people i think it might be time to have another little fortune cookie I'm not going to be nasty like some of these ASMR people and chew all nasty and ignorantly in your ear. I have compassion for your ears. Next, Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. And I think this is something that people forget because Aquarius has such a centric energy, which is so contradictory to Saturn, which is all about tradition. You know, and blending in with society enough that you don't, you know, get picked out of the bunch so that you can just kind of keep your head down and keep working. Whereas Uranus, Aquarius's main ruler, is all about unconvention, unconventionality, eccentricity. All right, that's a better way of saying it. Weirdness, out of the box thinking, innovation. Uranus also rules, you know, friends, acquaintances, our friend groups, and things like that. You know, our personal goals and aspirations, and our sense of true and a purpose and individualism in society at large. So I appreciate people with Aquarius energy or just Aquarius's period, because they are so out of the box. You know, they are people who march to the beat of their own drum. And as a Libra moon, sometimes. It's comfortable for me to go with the crowd. You know, it's it can be difficult for me to make the choice to overcome my fears enough to do my own thing. Even though I'm totally doing my own thing with my YouTube channel and, and everything I do. But sometimes I can get debilitated, you know, with thinking too much about other people. Now they'll perceive me. But Aquarius's don't give two craps about that and i love that about them you know one thing about them you know i've been with aquarius guys before they can be hard to reach emotionally sometimes they can have unrealistic idealistic views of love of romance of relationships you know these are people though who are very intellectual and smart and genius like people lastly pisces did you know that my business, Lamar Townsend Tarot, is a Pisces. Yes, your business has its own horoscope. This is why you should get a birth or a business birth chart reading, okay? Pisces, I have found a new, I have discovered a newfound appreciation for Pisces energy after discovering that my business is a Pisces sun and a Capricorn moon. See, I can never get away from that Capricorn energy, but I love Capricorns. So why would I want to get away from them? I just think it's interesting that even my business has its own, like, kind of strong Capricornian energy. 
Pisces is ruled by Neptune and Jupiter, and Neptune rules the metaphysical, it rules spirituality, it rules solitude and soul growth. Jupiter rules expansion. Once again, Sagittarius and both Pisces are ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter also rules optimism. It rules our ability to explore, be you know, explorative and adventurous. It also rules, you know, um, our personal philosophies and belief systems. It also rules higher education and taboo. So one thing I appreciate about Pisces is that they can make friends with nearly anyone. Pisces can have friends of all different backgrounds, creeds, you know, and um, ideologies, all right? And this is because of that Neptunian energy, which, you know, gives them the ability to see people on a soul level, you know, because Neptune ru rules the soul, it rules solitude, it rules, um, you know, spirit, the spirit world, the spirit itself. And, you know, Jupiter rules uh, the ability to expand. So Pisces expands on these things. Pisces likes to, you know, learn and evolve and grow. Not only on a tangible level in which we can see, which Jupiter enjoys, um, but also in terms of knowledge, but also in terms of spiritual wisdom, you know, insight and things like that. You know, so Pisces are just magical people. And I love that about them. Sometimes they can be too dreamy. All right. And they can be, once again, idealistic, you know, about love, about life, you know, but <clears throat> that just shows their testament to their strong imagination, you know, which a strong imagination is, you know, a prereq prerequisite for success, a prerequisite for, you know, um, genius level ability. So Pisces can tend to be geniuses in disguise. <sighs> and that was why I enjoy each of the 12 zodiac signs. And now I'm about to eat the last of my fortune cookies. Thank you for listening and watching my ASMR astrology video about the zodiac signs and why I enjoy the zodiac signs so much. Please like, share, and subscribe this video to this YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and keep in touch if you would like your own personal birth chart reading, astrology birth chart reading, psychic tarot reading, messages from your spirit guides, or more. Check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Also, please check out my ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, available now on Amazon and on my website. Namaste, love, and light, always. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family. And also, please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook. Purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching. And I'll catch you in the next video, alright?